I am Anil Kumar and now let us explore few problem solving skills. The question here is, in a yard there are number of horses and people. Ryan counted 10 of them, means 10 horses and people. Can you find the number of horses and people if he tells you that there were 34 legs altogether? Show your work. That's interesting. So think about it, pause the video and answer the question. There are a couple of ways of doing this. Now let me share one particular way and that is trial and error. Trial and error at times is a very very effective method of solving problems. So what we will do here is that we will just assume the number of horses and the number of people and see how can we get 34 as the number of legs. So what we will do is that we will make two columns. In one column we will write horses that means H in the other we will write the number of people. Now as far as horses are concerned how many legs do horses have? Well, they have four legs. About people, they have two legs. So what we have here is horses have four legs, people have two legs. So trial and error really means that we will assume if there is one horse, then how many people and how many legs. If there are two horses, how many people, how many legs. And so on. Well, we need to just figure out 10 combinations. Well, so that is the way we could do. So if there is one horse, then how many people should be there? Well, there should be 9 people since the total is 10, right? So horses plus people should always be 10, right? And we have to check number of legs number of legs and how many do we need we need 34 that's the critical number right so if i have one horse and nine people then how many legs are we thinking about well one horse will have four legs nine people will have two times nine which is 18 and if I add 18 and 4, I get 22 as the number of legs. Well, 22 is much, much lesser than 34. Hmm. So, let me try a bigger number, right? Since I need 34, not just 22. Now, horses have more legs. That means number of horses should be higher, right? Instead of people okay so this time what I will do is I will leave you and then I will say well let me try number of horses as 4 let us say number of horses are 4 but we need total of 10 number of people will be 6 and now how many legs 4 horses means 4 times 4 is 16 6 people, 6 times 2 is 12. Now if I add them up, what do I get? I get 28, which is even lesser than 34, right? But it is closer. That means increasing the number of horses can help us find the right answer, right? So what I will do is, let me try a higher number, correct? Let us say number of horses are 6 and then total is 10 therefore number of people should be 4 in this case what do I get let me count the number of legs 6 horses means 6 times 4 which is 24 so 24 legs for the horses and 4 persons means 4 times 2 as 8. 
So 8 legs for people. If I add 24 and 8, 8 plus 4 is 12 and 1 plus 2 is 2. 32, that's very close. A difference of 2 legs, right? And that is a difference of 2 legs between horses and people. That means I have just one more horse than 6 and that should work. So let me try 7 and if there are 7 horses the number of persons should be 3 and that makes how many legs? 7 times 4 is 28 and 3 times 2 is 6. When I add 28 and 6 what do I get? I get 34 legs. Well, 7 plus 3 is 10. So there are 10 horses and people and 34 legs, right? So what is the answer? How many horses and how many people? So we get our answer. Number of horses is equal to 7 and number of people is equal to 3. So that's a trial and error method but it is very effective especially for smaller numbers like we had only 10 options correct it works and if we would have started from 5 each we were very close to the answer so it really depends from where we start and how we move i hope that helps you and that's a very effective strategy which you can use in problem solving i'm anil kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot about problem solving. Thank you.